So in the next video on co-op campaigns, um, presumably you're creating a co-op campaign because you actually want to fly with someone. So how do you bring your buddies in? Uh, the first thing we need to do is distinguish between a user and a persona. The user is your friend. He is a person. The user is not associated with any particular campaign. He's just a guy that you want to fly with. Um, the persona is the pilot in the campaign. It is associated with the campaign, and it's it's the pilot that he's going to fly as. Uh, one user can have many personas. Uh, you can you can have multiple co-op campaigns going. The same user can have uh, pilots in several campaigns. They can even have multiple multiple pilots in the same campaign. So let's go make a user first. When you created a campaign, um, you a user was automatically generated for you. As the host, you are a user called host. I'm going to pop up show participant information real quick. And OK. So you can see here I've made a couple of campaigns and um, Getting a little bit of duplication here, so we'll have to fix that. However, comma, um, the idea here is that um, the uh, the username host is auto-generated, and these are campaigns. I haven't actually added any users yet. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a user, and. Um, Friend one, and you just create the co-op user. Honestly, that's maybe add a little bit of feedback, some sort of pop up. But hey, he's there. He got created. Um, once you've created a user, you haven't really done anything yet. Um, you've you've acknowledged that this is a user that can play with you, but um, we're not really um, doing anything with him yet. So let's go ahead and add a pilot. So you notice I went into the campaign and I'm going to add a pilot and here I am pilot officer British guy uh, that's me the host but now I want friend one and friend one wants to play American so um, we'll go ahead and make a pilot and here we are see I've got host and friend one and I'll just go ahead and make a pilot. So now I've created another persona in this campaign. Now when I make a mission, both these personas will be included in the mission. I'm going to go ahead and create the pilot. And again, here's something we're going to expand on this as time goes on. But at the moment, you really can't see um, your friend because you're limited to your own squadron view. But if we leave the campaign and do a co-op admin and show participant information, you can see here that friend one actually did have a uh, pilot made and he's there and he's part of comp campaign as opposed to co-op campaign um and that those are the basics of how you add a user and add a, a um pilot i'm going to do one more i'm going to go here to administer co-op i'm going to add another another user and And I have my friend, but now I've got my enemy. So I'm going to create the user. Again, I do the uh, administer co-op kind of at the main level because the users are not associated with any campaign. You get into the campaign. You add a pilot. This is going to be a, a German guy. And we're going to go next, next. Interesting. It's alphabetical, so there you go. You just have to be at the top of the queue. Usually you would pick them. And there we are. So now as I, if I want to come here and kind of get a peek, I can see that uh, I've got enemy one here and he's German guy. I've got my friend, he's American guy. I'm British guy flying for 66 Squadron, and there we are, all in the same campaign, comp campaign. Um, 
and that's it for 